Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh, home to the world's biggest refugee camp and a total of one million ethnic Rohingya. These people used to live across the border in Myanmar, but were forced to flee a violent crackdown by state security forces. Now, a year after most of them arrived, they face a second potential disaster, the monsoon. The rain started here just over a week ago, but in the first few days, three people were killed. Shelters, food distribution sites, health and sanitation facilities have all been damaged or destroyed by landslides. Abdul Shukur's son Mohammed was killed when his house collapsed. For months, aid workers have been trying to prepare the camps to cope with three months of incessant rain. But heavy downpours in the first few days of the monsoon may mean their efforts were in vain. The first week has been shocking at how quickly the situa situation has deteriorated. Um, in the matter of like three days, we've had huge amounts of rain falling. We've seen uh, whole parts of the camps being inundated, and very tragically, we've started to see uh, landslides happening on a, on a daily basis, which has uh, tragically caused uh, lives to be lost. Over my right shoulder, you can see the debris from one of the many, mini landslides that hit these camps in the first few days of the monsoon. Aid agencies have been preparing for this scenario for months, but even they say they've been surprised by the sheer amount of rainfall they've seen in the last few days. They worry that if this continues at this pace, the Rohingya people settled here in Bangladesh could see yet another disaster upon a disaster.